Welcome back everyone. My name is Nan Johdri from Tasty Tutorials and in this video we are going to create this 3D effect in Photoshop CC 2019. So without wasting any kind of time, let's get started. Okay, to create this effect, we need Photoshop CC 2019. I know that we have created this same effect in Photoshop CS6, Photoshop CC 2014 and Photoshop CC 2017. So the method will be a little bit similar to the 2019 and 2017. So let's get started. But before we start, let me just show you some examples what we can create in this effect. So this one is first example the default effect will be this one and after some color corrections you will get this effect you can change any color you can create any kind of effect this one is second example uh, this one will be default uh, we can say output and after some color corrections you can create this kind of effect it's all your choice it's all your uh, likeness how you can um, create this effect but I will show you the main method how we can exactly create this thing okay so first of all we will create a new document for that new document the size will be uh, 9020 by 1080 pixels the resolution will be 72 pixels per inch the orientation will be um, landscape and uh, the background contents will be transparent if you don't find transparent in this list just slide it down and you will see transparent nice now we'll click on create okay our document is created now what we'll do is we will type our text first so we'll press t and then we will type our text the text will be cc 2019 very nice or we can just give it a dash nice now the let me show you the font the font will be century gothic and uh, it's a bold version size is whatever you like sharpness instead of sharpness you will make it smooth nice and everything else is uh, uh, default now we'll size it up by pressing ctrl t oops now just uh, size it up don't make it too bigger just a little nice it's good now press ctrl a and uh, we will center our text press ctrl d to deselect that now we will create our background so we'll create a new layer call it as um, bg and let's just move it under our text and let's just uh, give it a color so the color will be 98 98 and 98 actually we need a gray background so this one is perfect hit ok now we'll press alt plus backspace to fill it with this color and now what we'll do is we'll click on text layer right click on it you will uh, see this new 3d extrusion from selected layer or if you don't want to go to this side you just need to go to 3d and click on new 3d extrusion from selected layer click on it and you will see uh, it is asking about do you want to switch to the 3d workspace yes we want to switch to the 3d workspace and now if you don't see any grid or kind of handles for 3d don't be worried about that just press ctrl h you will see all the settings now what we will do is we just need to select our text in 3d workspace and select our uh, we need to adjust the uh, extrusion depth so we'll size it down to about uh, 65 it's nice or we can move to the 75 it's also good for us very nice now don't give it too long so it will be just difficult for 3d to create our desired effect so let's just make it 70 it's good okay now we'll select our front inflation material and you will see this black ball and right next to it there is the arrow dropping down we just need to slide it down and you will see this blue glossy plastic this is a plastic glossy click on it this will be a blue color applied on our text and uh, we need to change the specular color we will make it a little blue like uh, like this and keep in mind 216 100 and 100 click on ok now we'll change this diffuse color 216 100 and 100 
very nice hit okay we don't need shine too much so we load the shine and uh, we don't need any bump we don't need any refractions and leave anything everything else yes nice now let's just move to the third one click on control click on uh, extrusion material black uh, sorry back inflation material and uh, back bevel material okay these three things now what we'll do is we'll go back to the top again into properties you will see again black ball right next to it is a arrow we'll just uh, slide it up and you will see this gold metal gold click on it our default color is applied we'll select specular change the specular color we'll make it little orange color i think it's 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 good here it's a 28 but make it uh, make it uh, it's uh, 25 is nice so keep in mind 25 100 and 100 click on ok now what we'll do is we'll click on this diffuse color also uh it was 25 100 and 100 i think so hit ok the colors will be same now we'll increase the shine to 100 percent the reflection should be lower we don't need so much reflections very nice and other things will be as it is now we'll go back to layers close this one click on this uh, bg layer color oh, sorry bg layer right click on it click on postcard we'll convert it into a postcard layer now select our cc 2019 layer and drop it under this background layer so on the top there is a background layer and under the background layer there is a cc 2019 layer we now we plex, uh, we will select both of these layers by shift and select both of these layers then press ctrl e to merge them into a single layer don't be worried about that these both layers can be separated after some time if you want to now click on 3d you will see the background is not complete so we'll go down and here is our background mesh color a mesh layer just uh, you will see these handles if you can't see these handles like this just click on Control plus H sorry press Control plus H from your keyboard and you will uh, see these handles now first handle is move second handle is rotation and the third handle is scaling on X axis so we'll scale it up now the same thing we will do it on Y axis scale it up and now the background is completed now we'll play some with some lights and then we are done now we will select our environment we don't need any shadows so we'll click on uncheck shadows uh nice if it's not working well don't worry about that there is a shadows option here we'll just turn these shadows off nice and nice in environment we will not find these things so just leave them we'll come back to it later first of all we need adjust some lights so we'll select our infinite light first which is this one and click on this handle and move it into the corner and shift it press it into the back you will see there is a long shadow if you want to create this effect just leave it as it is and if you want the shine on all of the sides yeah right like uh, on this side and on this side then just press it back until this shadow goes off you will see shadows goes off now we'll increase the intensity light uh, so we'll make it to 450 enter and now if you want to see where this light is uh, touching this text just click on uh, our default camera view and now we'll just simply rotate whole the scene as you can see that it is not closely uh, backed you will see this shadow we don't need this one so we'll move it a little bit front and you will see this thing very nice as you can see that if we remove this now you will see the shadows are gone but uh, as you can see this is the light shadows so we don't need to touch them uh, now what we'll do is we will simply just uh, create a new light before we creating new light just click on this default camera view and we are now back into our uh, default view now we'll click on this light click on new infinite light 
nice now same thing will now this time we will shift it under this like this you will see again shadows but we don't need shadows so just go back and if you want to see the correct position of the light just click on default camera and uh, now we will just move it like this and you will see it's perfectly uh, nicely done now just click on uh, default camera view and it will adjust for us very nice the main thing is done now what we'll do is we'll create another light click on this and we'll click this time we'll create a new point light it's a frontal light we don't need shadows for this light also and now we will what uh, what we'll do is we'll simply just reduce the brightness of this light you can play with the settings if you want to increase this one don't be worry about that we can lower it down but this thing will not so good i think so uh i got an idea uh what we'll do is uh we'll simply go to our environment for environment uh, we will click on this ibl light setting we will remove this texture and now what we'll do is we'll create a new texture nice hit ok it will create a new texture now this is white but this is empty so what we will do is we'll click on this and click on edit texture here we are at texture and you can see this empty document what we'll do is we will fill it with a white color so press alt plus backspace sorry yes alt plus backspace and it will fill it with white color now press ctrl s environment is saved and here we have our light now you can lower the light from here or you can lower the light which one is uh, uh, this point light make it lower but it will not work so good for us so what we'll do is we will delete this one and what we'll do is we'll go to our environment for IBL light settings we will lower it down lower it down until this light give us a little dark background I think it's much better here okay all the settings are done now now let's just see our uh, render what if kind of effect is done from our hands but before we do anything let's just see another thing the uh, shadow thing uh, as you can see this uh, these shadows are coming on this logo or we can say our text we don't need this shadow as we can see that if we go to environment you will see this uh, shadow thing if we turn this off it will not work as well but if we go to infinite light and we will turn this off from this now you will see the shadows are off let's just off shadows for both lights from the both sides now the uh, shadows are off now just go to default camera as you can see that default camera is here press control zero to adjust now we'll render this to see what kind of effect we have done so this is a render button here if you don't see this just go to 3d and click on render 3d layer as you can see that there is lots of glow here but on this side there is very low glow so what we'll do is we'll escape this and for the light you can see it's 450 the light we have created is not 450 so we'll increase it to 500 and uh, enter and for the second light which is infinite light we will make it also 500 now it's good and uh, now we will render this as you can see that this is going to be very nice so it will take lots of time to render this document so we will fast forward this whole process and we will uh, meet after finishing render okay so the render is complete now and uh, as you can see the final output let's just go back to layers it will take so much time i already told you the status will be here and uh, let's just go to layers 
right click on this and click on rasterize 3d that's nice now press ctrl h to hide those guides and now you will see that uh, there is uh, only one need we need one thing we need to adjust which is color so first of all we will go back to essentials workspace and after that we will just go to color balance from here you can just adjust the background color you can see that here and you can adjust as uh, you want like this and uh, the first thing first we need to do is you can see that if you see the noise around your text don't be worried about that it's uh, just uh, when you finish your render all the things will be cleared out okay and uh, first of all we will uh, create selection around this uh, text so go to um, magic wand tool press and hold your shift key from your keyboard and click on the front text very nice now we'll create a new layer click on this uh, bob circle and click on solid color now you can adjust colors from here don't be worried about that this is white color you can um, adjust colors from here it's all your choice however you like to adjust these colors you're okay now um, anything else you want to apply on this um, i would like to apply some uh, stroke if you like stroke if you don't like stroke we'll go to inner glow which is perfectly nice and uh, like this if you don't want to do this it's all your choice and basic work is done you have to adjust the colors if you see the uh, this glow is too much in the 3d settings you can uh, lower the glow and uh, you can just uh, play with the settings of highlights you can see you can play with intensity look at here and you will see lots of colors correction options like midtones into the midtones you can make it little more let's just turn this off basically and now if you if you see you will see that there is noise if you want to remove that noise you just need to go to filter camera raw filter into camera filter you will find uh, uh, these uh, this is called detail just increase the luminance and you will see all the noise will be off very nice if you want to do that I will not suggest but if you would like to do that it's all your choice and that's it and uh, you can do lots of thing with this it's all your choice basically the basic thing is done so hopefully you like this video if you like this video uh, so much give this video a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have any questions if you want to ask something you can just comment under this video I will try to answer that question it, it, it also increased my knowledge so thank you so much for watching this video we'll meet in our next video don't forget to share subscribe and comment we'll meet in our next video take care Allah Hafiz